Hello everyone and welcome back to another Arlcraft episode. This is episode 2 and today I don't really have much of a plan. I do want to get some XP to level up skills and I also want to build a nice little base. But other than that I don't really have a plan. I'm still going to do other things, I just don't know what they are yet. So I hope you enjoy this episode. So off camera I did get my defense up to level 8 as you can see here. Just so I could use this shield, this iron plated shield which is really good. But now I realize that I can also use that new defense level to get iron armor, which is quite a lot better than this chain. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. Alright, so I just smelted all of the iron necessary for some iron armor. I'm going to make some of this and then look for a new place to build my underground bunker. And the temperature is also increasingly getting higher. So I think there are seasons in this game, and I think I spawned in spring, so next comes summer which is going to be very hot and I don't know if I'm going to be overheating but the average temperature is definitely going to be a lot higher so I'm going to have to watch out for that. Alright so while I was looking for a base location I found this thing and there's tons of iron in it. Like if we go in to where I was mining here it looks like this thing might have I don't know just half a stack 45 maybe even a whole stack of iron in it which is insane. I'm probably never going to have to mine iron for a little while now. So I think I'm going to set up my base right in this plains biome. As you can see, the village is right over there, so it's really pretty close. And the reason I'm doing that is because it is close to the village, which has, you know, some good loot. It also has a weird volcano thing. There's a castle, a battle tower, and another smaller ice village. All in this area. And it's nice and flat, too, if I want to build anything. There's some always water, and there's some cold biomes around in case it gets really hot during the summer. So for all those reasons, I'm going to be building somewhere around here in the plains biome. Alright, well first of all, a blood moon is rising, and second of all, this is going to be the main outline of my base. As you can see, this is 10 by 15. I'm going to dig this down probably 6 blocks, and then I'm going to make the roof glass so I can see any enemies trying to attack me. Now I tried to make that really quick because I really need to run back to the village to hide from this blood moon. So I'm going to do that, and I'll tell you more about the base later. So apparently during the Blood Moon I can't sleep, and also I just realized that text, the Blood Moon is rising, that's a nice Terraria reference there. But anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't really want to stay in here. Might go outside and try to kill a bunch of stuff to get XP. There's nothing really too dangerous, like not- alright I take that back, but, but there's nothing too unusual except for that. And there's another lion. Whatever that is. Alright, maybe I'll just hide. So, on my balcony right here, you can really see how high the spawn rate's getting. There's... Oh, there's a bird. Anyways, yeah, you can see all of this. this. There's not usually this many mobs. The blood moon, as you would expect, makes the spawn rate really high. What is that? Oh, it's coming. Is it going to bomb me? Is it going to throw that creeper on me? I don't think it is, but that would be... Honestly, at that point I wouldn't even be mad. That'd just be, that'd just be funny. So, a bunch of zombies just broke down my door. I was just poisoned, and I hear them walking around on the floor below me. I don't know if they're going to come for me or not. There's also a creeper outside my window. I'm just going to look. Oh, uh, okay, they're right there. Actually, wait, now that I looked at them, they're probably going to come up the stairs. I can just lure them up here and get some free XP, that would be kind of nice. I mean, they're just zombies. And if I die, I'm in my house. Also, I did hear a random explosion, so I don't know if they're trying to breach my walls or not. Oh, dude, that's guys. Alright, I actually didn't get hit by the baby zombie. There's so many zombies! Oh, they have, they have weapons. My sword broke. Oh my gosh. They're breaking more of my doors. I can hear them. No, I didn't want to sit on the staircase. All of my weapons are breaking. Do I have my shield? I do. Dang. There's so many zombies. I might just stay in here and hope my stuff doesn't despawn. Alright, well that was quite the night. 
none of my stuff despawned, but now I want to build a bunker even more. Because if I was in the bunker, then I would have been able to hide from all those zombies way easier. And I would have been able to see them through the glass roof, which would have been cool. So I'm going to work on that as soon as possible. And I also need to get more tools as well. And a new sword. Alright, so I finished hollowing out this area. This is six blocks deep. And once I put the glass like roof over, it'll only be five blocks deep. I also realized that there's a nymph spawn like pretty much right over my base. Obviously, there's not one spawned in right now, but that's really nice. So I should be able to regen if I uh, ever get damaged, which obviously it will happen. I made this sleeping bag as well, which allows me to sleep without setting my spawn point, which is really nice because if I die, I want to respawn where all my stuff is at the village. So yeah, I think in this area, I'm probably going to put chests and crafting tables and all your like crafting stuff, all that, have a water source, and then I'll make other areas that branch out where I put like anvils and chanting tables and any other custom like crafting stations I might need will go in a different room. So I started to loot that castle up there and I got a few notable things, a diamond sword, a little bit of extra iron armor, a lot of arrows, a few building blocks, I got a lot of item frames so I'm not gonna have to get those for my storage system, a few chests, some jukeboxes, polished anisite, you know dispensers, some pork chops, a few good things, and I didn't even finish. I only looted a few buildings up there. Of course, I can't... Like, probably the best thing is this diamond sword. It has a good reforge, too. But I can't really use it until I get combat level 16. Yeah, I need attack 12, or um, 16 to use that. You can also see it's middle of summer now, I'm pretty sure. I am starting to overheat pretty badly. But I also made a bunch of progress on my base. So you have spruce wood up here. I figured it wouldn't really matter if this burnt down because I would still be protected by the glass and stone bricks. And you can see I also you know, did up some of the walls and it's just a nice little area in here now. It'll look a lot better once I put a bunch of chest and and like do the floor and everything. So it's going to look different later, but for now this will do. Alright, so I did just spend a bunch of time finishing up the main room of my base. First of all, I do have the chests all set up. I'm going to add more categories of items as I get more items, but for now, this is all I have. I did move all of the items from the village over to here, so that took a little bit of time. I designed the floor as well. I don't know if I'm going to keep this water here though, just because it is convenient, but I don't know if I like how it looks. I also did finally set my spawn point here, and that's going to be a hallway where I'll have a bunch of other rooms. I'll have a room for temperature regulation so if it's too hot or too cold I can go in that room and cool down or heat up. I'll also probably have an enchanting room and also I want to have a strip mine down there but I do want to I kind of section off the strip mine just because if something does spawn down there I don't want it to have direct access to my base. So I just crafted 12 avian treats and they're crafted like this and basically they'll allow me to tame any sort of bird mount. It's like a ventoraptor or a rock or something like that. I'm going to go for a rock because they can fly and pick up items. I think I showed one in this video already. I think uh, a rock was the thing that was carrying the creeper in the earlier clip during the blood moon. So yeah, I want to tame one of those because I just think they'll be super useful really. Okay, so I just spent the past few hours grinding out mining 16. So now I can actually use this diamond pickaxe that I found. And I can actually mine diamonds as well. I don't actually have a strip mine yet, so I'm going to have to dig that still. But yeah, once I get diamonds, I can get a ton more things. And I'm probably not actually going to get a rock in this episode, just because I haven't really found one, and I also don't have a soul stone to keep the rock bound to me. So if I tame the rock and it dies, I won't be able to you know, have it respawn because I don't have that soul stone. And I actually needed diamonds for that soul stone as well. So if I just search avian, you can see the avian trees, but there's also this avian soul stone. That's why I need to craft. I don't know why I can't see the recipe for it. I guess it's just not compatible with whatever crafting mod this is. But there is a recipe that involves diamonds. And I think like ender pearls and stuff like that. But there is one more thing that I wanted to craft before I end this episode. And that's a summoning staff. I'm pretty sure I need one bone. A gold and an ender pearl. Let's 
still getting used to where all my items are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bone in the middle, a gold at the bottom, and an ender pearl on the top. Yes, right here. I don't actually know how to use this. Okay, so I need magic 8. And I have magic 4. It's only magic 8, so I don't... No, that's not too big of a deal. Getting your skills level 8 isn't too difficult. So I'm going to do that, and um, I'll test this thing out. You can actually kill, like, sea serpents with this thing. And sea serpents are the source of the best armor in the game. I'm pretty sure it's called, like, the Tide Guardian armor. Something like that. Yeah, let me get Magic 8, and then we'll try it out. So, right up here, at, you can see there's a Venture Raptor. I'm just going to try to tame it with these avian treats, even though I don't have a Soul Stone. Okay, I tamed it. So this guy's mine now, and I'll have a Vento Raptor, which apparently they- I think they do like a bunch of damage and stuff. Now, I did die, and I just want to go on a quick rant real quick. You see, five times in a row I was killed by a skeleton, and those were completely different times. I wasn't getting like spawn camped or anything. Those were completely different times I was just straight up one-shotted by a skeleton. That's crazy, because they hit you in the head almost every single time. And when they do that, they just completely one-shot you. I don't actually know where my stuff is, so I'm just going to run around and try to find it for a little while. Okay, so I got my stuff. I just want to put my Venture Raptor in the base. Just so he doesn't, like, die or anything. Because he's not Soulbind with a Soul Stone yet. I guess Soul Bound is the correct term. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I can also use pet armor and a saddle on this guy. There's diamond pet armor here. Can I just... Can I put... Oh, he's got diamond armor now. Can I take that off of him? Oh, oh he's so fast! Alright, so this guy is pretty cool. If I sit on him and press M, I have all of these different options. Right now I have him on sit and defensive. But I can have him like follow me, I can have him just walk around, I can have him not attack anything. And you can see I have a bunch of different options for him. And I'm pretty sure I can also put a chest on this guy. So if I get, I'm pretty sure I have a chest in here. Can I put him on? I don't know, did I equip it? Is it on him now? It is, okay. So now I can put stuff in his inventory as extra storage if I'm like running around and I'm looting stuff so i got magic eight so i can now use the summoning staff i already messed around with it a little bit and i killed one of those purple fire zombies it gave me a ton of levels and also eight heart crystal shards i already had one so i just combined it to nine and i'm pretty sure if i go over to the crafting table i can just do this and yes i can make a heart container then if i use the heart container boom i get an extra heart but that's pretty good, just because, you know, more health, of course, it's amazing. But yeah, let's see if I could go and test out the summoning staff on something. Of course, I already tested it, but I want to show it off in video, too. There's a creeper right there. It's starting to attack me. Let's just summon in that guy. And if I attack it, yes, the summon is now attacking it. Now, they're kind of slow, so the enemy can often outrun it. But yeah, these guys are pretty powerful. And if I had more summoning focus, you can see above my hunger bar, there's like that green stuff. If I had more of that, I could summon in, I think, up to four of those at once. So anyways, that does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next RLCraft video. Bye, everyone.